A migraine is a genetic neurological disease characterized by episodes often called migraine attacks. They are quite different from regular headaches, which are non-migraines. There are many types of migraines, but the top seven kinds are the hemiplegic migraine, the ophthalmoplegic migraine, the basilar migraine, the migraine without aurora, the migraine aurora without headache, the migraine with aurora, and vestibular migraine. All of these migraines are similar because they are all migraines, but the things that they have that are different are the triggers, the symptoms, the amount of time they last, and the after effects. You may wonder what the difference between a headache and a migraine is. A headache, the headache is caused by the contraction of muscles between the head and neck. A migraine in comparison tends to range from moderate to very severe throbbing pain at the, at the front or the side of the head. It can be unrelenting and carry on for days and is accompanied by other symptoms sometimes described as the aurora. There are three specific types of migraines that include the aurora. Those are the migraine with aurora, the migraine aurora without headache, and the migraine without aurora. An aurora is a denotes recurrent attack of neurologic symptoms that can in include visual, sensory, speech, motor, or other central nervous systems. There are three specific kinds of migraines that deal with having an aurora included in them. Those types are the migraine with aurora, the migraine without aurora, and the migraine aurora without headache. An aurora is a denotes recurrent attacks of neurologic symptoms that can include visual, sensory, speech, motor, or other central nervous symptoms. The neurologic symptoms generally last only minutes in duration and should be fully reversible. Who are the people that tend to get the migraines? Well, women are three times more likely to get migraines than men. If you have a close relative that has migraines, migraines are also common for people with epilepsy, depression, asthma, anxiety, stroke, and other neurological and hereditary diseases. Those who suffer with migraines usually develop it in childhood or adolescence. Triggers are what can possibly cause a medical problem or make it worse. And the triggers of migraines are stress and other emotions, hormonal shifts or exposure to light or smells, fatigue or change in sleep pattern, glaring or flickering lights, weather changes, or certain foods or drinks. A diagnosis is the ident identification of an illness, a conclusion or decision reached, or the identification of any problem. How to decide if you are diagnosed with migraines is if you have migraines or a family history of migraines, a doctor trained and treated migraines, a neurologist will likely diagnose migraines based on your medical history, symptoms, and a physical and neurological examination. After telling you all about migraines, I'm going to show you about what a migraine looks like on a fake brain. So here you see a brain and um, this is where the migraine is occurring, this red spot. And what happens is that a drop, when a drop in a chemical ca called serotonin causes the start of a migraine. Serotonin is a compound present in blood platelets and serum that constricts the blood vessels and acts as a neurotransmitter. The drop in serotonin causes the nervous system to release a chemical called neuropeptides. These neuropeptides come to the outside of the um, brain, and that's what you're seeing with the white dots. Those are representing the neuropeptides as they are coming to the outside of the brain. Scientists have recently been researching that mutations in the sodium potassium pump cause locomotor phenotypes in flies and three distinct neurological diseases in humans. I hope that you have learned a lot about the biology of migraines and thank you for watching.